Sony wasar tu nak bagi kita sama the single within mapamanai Although the Sri Lankan rupee opened at around 159 rupees and 40 to 90 cents yesterday it was quoted around 161 to 161 rupees and 5 cents to the US dollar in the spot market by midday The rupee's depreciation also affected the stock market yesterday with the all share price index dropping 16.51 points to 6359 points by midday It crossed the 160 rupee mark against the US dollar last week but rebounded later in the week. The Sri Lankan rupee depreciated 3.9% against the US dollar in 2016 while last year the currency devalued 2.5%. So far this year the currency has declined 4.2%. First at 9 explored the consequences of the rupee depreciating even further. What is going to happen as a result of the exchange rate depreciation is we are definitely going to have a situation of rising cost of living and the rising cost of living is a very bad scenario for the government point of view for their political fortunes in the near future of elections and on the other hand for the people in general we have a slow income growth and rising inflations are a recipe for very very serious times ahead it will definitely have an impact in terms of the import prices that will come into the economy we may see especially certain maybe consumer items increase but we will also have to see whether this rupee depreciation will be sustained or is there chances for it to maybe stabilize at this levels before the price levels are put in uh, but even for exporters because a lot of input comes in for re-export as well whether it will also have an adverse impact in terms of pricing for our exporters as well What aspects must the government then focus on to control the trend? If we want to strengthen our currency at least to maintain the current status, we need to promote our exports, attract more investment, curtail some of our import expenditure. We have no control on imports. If government find it very difficult to promote exports in the short run, at least government must identify some of the sectors which we could promote domestically so that we can replace some of the imports. Right now, government strategy, as I see, is that to promote the foreign employment. I don't think that labor migration alone could address this situation. Technically, what I suggest is a kind of a import replacement industrialization strategy.